Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing okay and staying safe. So for the next few weeks, we're going to be reviewing integers, variables, and solving equations. So normally when we solve equations, we use numbers and letters, but instead we're going to be using these tiles up here. Um, if we were in class, I would give you guys physical tiles to play around and move with, but especially with what's going on nowadays, it's probably not a good idea to be touching and sharing things. So instead, we're going to be using these virtual tiles. Um, Somewhere above should be a link to that will take you to the web page behind me. So go ahead and click that link. Also try to have it so that your this video is on one side of your screen and the web page is on the other side. Okay, so I'll give you guys a minute. Go ahead. We good? Okay. So um, if you guys look on the left here, you guys have a variety of tiles to choose from. Um, I'm not going to go over what each of those tiles represent. That's for another video. Instead, I'm just gonna show you guys how this tool works. So the first thing you guys can do is click and drag these different tiles onto the mat. So if you're following along, go ahead and try dragging a couple of these tiles onto the mat, like so. Um, the next thing you guys can do is click on the tiles to change it from positive to negative. So if you see, if I just single click it, these tiles are gonna change from positive to negative. And if I wanna change it back, I just have to click it again. Uh, the third thing we can do is move tiles. Obviously, we can just click on a tile and drag them individually. Or if we wanted to, you guys can click on the open space and highlight a bunch of tiles at once and move them all at once. So go ahead and try highlighting and moving a couple of tiles. Okay. The fourth thing I want to show you guys is removing tiles from the mat. So there are two different ways you guys can remove tiles from a mat. You guys can highlight the entire tiles and drag them off the screen and that will get rid of them. Or you guys can highlight them and click the delete button on your keyboard. Okay. Uh, the third thing, or sorry, the fifth thing you guys can do is copy and paste tiles. So if you guys go ahead and highlight these tiles, you guys can click control C at the same time to copy them and then press control V to paste and then move them where you want. So one more time, you guys can put control C to copy and control V to paste. Okay. And finally, the last thing you guys can do with this tool is rotate these tiles. So if I double click these tiles, they're going to rotate 90 degrees. We, oops. Oh, and you see what happened there? If you don't click on it quickly enough, it won't rotate. It will just change to the opposite sign. So make sure you guys click on it quickly. Okay. So those are the basics of using these tools. Uh, go ahead and play around with these. We're gonna be using this tool a lot throughout the next few weeks, so make sure you guys are comfortable using it. And if you have any questions, let me know.